Welcome to day 30 on Flora and the Novice Explorers. Got a little pipe didgeridoo, it's day 30. <laughs> so yeah, it's day 30 and today we are fitting these. Jerk it up. Jerk it up. Despite that awesome intro, these are not musical instruments, these are... Sidebars. Yes, and where do they go? In between the two wheels. They're purely aesthetic. Um, I think there's not really much you can do with these, but we're hoping it will fit in nicely with the black and blue uh, look we've gone for. We're going to do our best to get these on the van today, although we have no ramp, it would be beneficial. So one of us, I'm imagining myself, will have to crawl underneath and fix them to the bottom. And we're going to have to try and guess because the instructions, although present, are in ever so slightly broken. English. Very poor translation. Yes, so it's a bit of guesswork and a bit of fun and we've also got, um, we'll show you in a second, a bit of black trim which is going to sit on the rear bumper to protect that from the Fiamma bike rack we fit a few weeks ago. Uh, the kitchen cupboard is still ongoing but we're taking a break from that today to bring you this. Yep. It is also getting on for a year since we first purchased Flora so it's a little celebration of that today. Too. Ah. So let's crack on. Let's read them broken English instructions. Easy job first, let's fit the back bumper trim. First thing we need to do when fitting the bumper trim is making sure the bumper is really clean and free from any dirt and debris. So another thing that comes in the pack is a degreasing wipe. They say that the bumper trim will not stick unless it is totally free from grease. It smells like a dentist. What's my serious about that? Fun. <coughs> you must do it in a left to right motion, not back and forth. Why? Because they say so on the paper. Ready? Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> so me <laughs> Meg has uh, cleaned and degreased the bumper, so now it's time for the fit. Hopefully, we get it nailed in one attempt. First bits of the backing tape, which isn't easy when you've got no nails. Mum. Yeah. Shall I shut the door on one? Yeah, Cameras let's give it a test. Ready. Uh, now this is the one. more tricky door. Yeah. Very nice. It looks all right, doesn't it? Have a little bit of class. Yeah. So the trim is now firmly on, and we're really happy with it. Really nice fit, and it's going to stop the the door from scuffing. Closes really nicely as well. First job is to remove the splash guards which are underneath the van. Time to get lying down, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All you say is yeah. Once we've removed the splash guards from underneath the van, we'll be able to see the holes that are in the sill all the way along the bottom of the van, and that's where we'll be attaching the brackets to that will hold the bars in place. Right, so I've now taken these washers out of the splash guard and we're going to have to cut away a bit of the splash guard um, to allow our brackets to fit snugly underneath. The plastic is not letting this sit particularly flat. So we're just going to measure up, cut away and then uh, on to the next bits. These bolts I'm going to explain now. These wind up and down from the bottom, these little clips, and this makes a T-bar bolt. Um, it's taken us quite a lot of time to understand how these actually work. So these go up inside the sill. These go on the outside of the sill, those on the in. So that's in. They only jiggle about as much as it, as it will, but they're not going anywhere out of that hole. So that's that one. So I'm going to show you this one too. That isn't really going anywhere now. Okay, 
I'm feeling quite accomplished at that because this has taken us quite a long time to understand. Next bit, here we go. This bolt's already in. Then we've got our little weird T-bar clip that goes in there. And that's inside the sill now. So we now need a small washer, the springy washer that they give you, and then the bolt. So we're adding these to the outside <coughs> of the bracket. Okay, cool bean. And then we've just got to tighten this up so that will sit up to. So I'm going to do all that next video now. Now it's time to fit the goddamn bar. We've carried out all the work necessary on the sills underneath the van, so hopefully in the next five minutes we should have our first <coughs> sidebar attached to the van. Right, we're going to do this, we're going to do it well. Ready? One, two, three. High five me. <laughs> Right then, so we have successfully fitted the bar on the driver's side, but we've had some unexpected trouble with the passenger side. Unfortunately, there's something inside the sill near the uh, front door there that's not allowing us to push our bolt up and through. Um, whatever it is, is part of the van, mm. so we don't feel confident enough in trying to manoeuvre it or yeah. adjust it in any way. So we've decided to leave it. One thing we definitely haven't seen it on is the instructions definitely didn't see it there. Fortunately, every cloud has a silver lining, and in this case, it's the fact that in the sill, the holes are equally spaced out all along, which means that we can still use the bracket, just not in the place it's intended to be. Down a hole. So we've been to see our mechanic friend, Ollie, who's done a spot of welding for us. Big shout out to Ollie, he has saved our bacon in this task. So the solution to the problem was to weld the bar and bracket together, something we definitely couldn't have done ourselves. And this job I thought was gonna be half an hour, it's taken us days to get this sorted. So I would definitely recommend you doing as much research as possible about any bars you might wanna purchase. So the bar is now ready to go on. Um, the final bit of preparation was to just spray it black just to hide the weld and the little scratches it's uh, incurred since moving it about and getting it ready. Uh, the spray will also protect it a little bit because it was bare metal. Yes. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it fits straight on. This is a fingers crossed because we are reasonably sure it will. Yep. But it's welded now and it's too late. If it looks like a pile of crap, we're in trouble. Three, two, one. Time to get that bar on. Yes. Look at them, they're on. And it you can hardly the see the difference, eh? <laughs> all that work, and that's what you get in return. <laughs> First of all, nuts and bolts rating, what do you give it? I give it an, an annoying out of 10. Very much so. It wasn't particularly difficult, it was just one of them jobs uh, that turned out to be much harder than expected, really. But that is the process of uh, the van build. You never know which job's gonna be easy, and you never know which one's gonna be a pain in the backside. And plenty of emotional highs and lows. Plenty of lows for me, I must admit. I'm glad this video's over. <laughs> this has dragged on more than it was meant to. And we've got so much more to do. 
we've got to crack on with the kitchen uh, build. We've got all the upholstery and mm. pretty bits to do. Oh, there's so much, there's yeah. so much. So stay tuned. I hope you've liked our videos. So please feel free to like, comment and subscribe if you want to follow our progress. We've uh, really enjoyed the interaction we've had with some of you guys recently. Um, and questions, anything that uh, you wonder what and why and how, just ask away. Yeah, we're no experts, but we'll do our best. <laughs> follow us on our social medias, on Insta and on Twitter, at VW underscore Flora. But for now, it's over and out. See us on the next video. See you lose.